Great. Well, good morning, everyone. And I'd like to start by thanking our provost, Dr. Davidson, for highlighting the valuable work that's being done right across the University of Calgary and for the kind introduction. And thanks again to everyone for being here this morning to help launch a new initiative that aims to address one of Canada's uh, most pressing economic challenges. That's productivity. And this is not an abstract or theoretical concept. Okay? It's a critical factor that influences everything from our wages, our salaries, investment levels, inflation, the quality of our public services, and our everyday lives. It has far-reaching implications for almost all areas of public policy. And raising productivity does not mean working more for less. You know, many do have that impression. It makes public communication around the issue of productivity challenging. It doesn't mean that at all. It means getting more for less. It means that each hour we work yields more than it did before. It means higher incomes, and m most importantly these days, it means greater purchasing power from that income. Unfortunately, though, Canada's productivity performance has been uh, somewhat disappointing, to say the least. In fact, business sector labor productivity last year fell uh, by 1.8%, marking the third consecutive annual decline in Canada's productivity. And since 2015, labor productivity has increased by only about 1.6%. And, and for context, that's an increase that we typically saw every year for 20 years previously. It's an annual growth rate over the past eight years of about 0.2%. I'm an economist, and so I like giving you a lot of these numbers. At these numbers, that's 0.2%. That's the lowest average growth rate that we have ever seen over any comparable period since records began in 1946. Okay. And we're, we're not just lagging behind our own past performance. We're lagging further and further behind other advanced economies. Today in Canada, we're nearly 30% behind the United States, and that gap is widening. And the economic costs of this are enormous. We know there's a problem. The numbers speak for themselves. But the question is, what are we going to do about it? How are we going to turn things around? And that's why I'm excited uh, to join you all today to announce that the School of Public Policy will be hosting Canada's Productivity Summit, a two-day event on October 16th and 17th at the newly expanded BMO Centre. It will be an event that will bring together a diverse set of several hundred scholars, policy practitioners, business leaders, decision makers, and community voices from right across the country. And the goal is to lead a national conversation away from just talking about problems, which is where the conversation is really anchored today, I think it's fair to say, but instead moving us towards identifying real, actionable solutions. So at the summit, we'll explore the latest research, share best practices from business leaders and others, and chart a concrete roadmap for boosting productivity that we'll unveil in future research through the School of Public Policy. The summit will also be unique in its broad scope and scale, and I think that's necessary since solutions will go beyond any one area of expertise, go beyond any one sector of business or any one government, uh, or indeed go beyond any one silver bullet reform that we might have in mind. Now, hosting such a summit would not be possible without the generous support of the government of Alberta. And so to talk more about that, I'm very pleased to introduce someone who shares our concern around productivity and shares our vision for a national conversation focused on ways to improve 